This is section 4, Managing Packages with YAM. In this section, we will give you an introduction into managing software packages with YAM and RPM. We will begin this section by introducing you to the YAM command line tool and show you how you can update, search, install and remove software packages on your CentOS 7 system. Afterwards, we will show you how you can keep your YAM clean and tidy and then we will install a very convenient tool called YAM Priorities, which helps working with third-party repositories, which we will show you next. Afterwards, we will create our own local private YAM repository. And finally, we will show you how to work with the RPM command line tool. Using YAM to update the system. In this video, we will learn how to use the YAM package manager to update our CentOS 7 system. Before we can dive into the practical part of this video, we need to define some very important terms here. All software on a CentOS 7 system is distributed through RPM packages. RPM is not only a file format, but also a very important command line tool we will also discuss in this section here. YAM is the default package management system for CentOS. One of its key features is that it can talk to repositories and this saves us from having to find and install new applications or updates manually. A repository is a remote directory or website that contains prepared software packages and utilities. YAM will use this facility to automatically locate and obtain the correct Red Hat package manager or RPM files and dependencies. Here follows the demonstration. On CentOS 7, to check whether there exists any updates for installed packages, type yum check minus update and press the return key. If no updates are available, then the update process will end and no further work will need to be done. However, if updates are available, yum will now return a list of all package updates from the repositories known to your system. To start the actual update process, type yum update minus y and press the return key. When complete, you will be provided with a final report that identifies what dependencies have been installed and what packages have been updated. Generally speaking, no further work is required and you may resume typical operations. However, if a new kernel has been installed or the glibc library has been updated, it is now necessary to reboot the system, because those cannot be replaced during runtime. Instead of running yum update to update all packages on your system, you can also give yum update the name of an individual package to update only, for example the systemd package. If you want to automate the updating of your system using a specific time interval, you can install the yum cron package which can be highly customized, but which is outside of the scope of this video training. Here we can only show you a very basic and simple setup. To install it, type yum install yum-cron-y. The yum cron configuration file for daily execution plan can be found at slash etc slash yum slash yum-cron.conf. Similarly, there exists another file for hourly execution, which can be found in the same directory. We stick with the daily execution plan, so please open slash etc slash yum slash yum minus cron.conf in your favorite text editor. In this simple example, we check if there are any security updates available on a daily basis and if so, apply them immediately. There are four very important configuration settings to get you started. The update command, which defines which update to use, Update messages, which tells if a message should be sent when updates are available. Download updates, which sets if updates should be downloaded when available. And the most important one, apply updates, which we need to set to yes in order yum cron will work at all. In the first few lines of this configuration file, you get a list of all available update types for the update command value and the short description for each type. We choose the update command security here. Finally, to receive a message with information whenever yumcron performed some updates or steps, you can provide an email address here, which is divided into email to and email host. To actually start yumcron in the background of your computer as a service and activate it, which means start it whenever the server gets started, type the following two commands, system control enable yumcron and system control start yumcron. With these settings, yumcron is checking for new security updates daily and if there are some available, will apply them immediately. To get more information, type man yum-cron. 
In this video, we gave you a brief introduction to the YUM package manager system and showed you how to update the system. You also learned how to use YUM cron to automate system updates.